and try to keep it here not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day, we have to protect our state of mind because it's going to enable us to see a lot of things inside of ourselves that many times we put aside and hide from ourselves. This is one of the reasons why when the Buddha talked about respect for concentration, he, he already said respect for the triple training, and then he went on to say respect for concentration. Of course, concentration is part of the triple training, but it's something we tend to overlook. And you see how many places in which they say, well, maybe the Buddha didn't teach concentration or make, make it a necessary part of the path or whatever. And so he kept stressing, you've got to keep your mind still so you can see. If the mind isn't still, then no matter how much you note things or keep track of things, there's going to be something in the undercurrents that you don't want to notice. And those things can hide. It's only when the mind gets really still and you can see these things and you have the courage to take them on. That's when you can root them out. So try to keep your mind centered as you go through the day. Think of that image the Buddha gave of the, the post with the six animals. You tie each animal on a leash, and then if you simply tie the leashes to the other leashes, then they get dragged around. And one of the animals was a crocodile, one was a bird, one was a hyena. And as he said, the, the strongest one will tend to pull the other ones down. Well, the, probably the crocodile is going to pull everybody down into the river and they're all going to drown. But if you keep the leashes tied to a post, then no matter how much they push and pull, then it doesn't matter who's strongest, they're not going to get anywhere, because the post has to be really strong. And they end up lying down next to the post. In other words, as you're practicing restraint over the senses, you need to have a sense of the body as your center. And as soon as your thoughts go out, you notice them. This is what the, the Thai Johns talk about when they talk about the mind flowing out. You actually see there's an energy that flows out towards things, things you like, things you dislike. And if you can be still in the midst of that, you can see that and say, oh, this is what I'm doing. And this is the harm it's causing. Then you're more likely to stop it. So try to keep this post with you as you go through the day. If you notice you've lost it, just stop whatever you're doing. Take a couple of good deep breaths, and then continue. And this way the animals don't drag you around. <laughs> 